This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. Yeah. So we would not help with that. However, what would happen is let's say let's say the class comes up in Cleveland and it is completely filled, okay? And you, you can't get in, but you've gotten everything together. And we have openings in Indianapolis or I have an opening in South Bend. Welcome back drivers to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at YRC Driver Academy. Now, guys, a lot of things change since this phone call. Um, this phone call was maybe back in January. I, I, I can't even remember because it's been so long ago. Uh, YRC is considered one of the best uh, sponsored trucking academies out there. They will help you obtain a Class A CDL permit. Uh, that you have to pay, uh, your physical, you have to pay. You got to have, now listen now, you have to have a TSA background fingerprint check for hazmat, which you have to pay, and you have to pass a DOT drug test, and the company will get a motor vehicle report, both of which that the company will pay for. You will get paid for training. It is four weeks at the academy. Um, you will finish off the school. And, of course, I believe YRC is one of those companies that don't accept SAC drivers. Once you get on, once you get on with the company, it is 100% paid health care. For you and your family, great pay. Road drivers first year bets about 65K, which is not great pay. That's average pay. Holiday vacations and sit days. You will have home time. You will get company pay hotels. And when the wheels stop, they will still pay you with their hourly pay for delay and layover. The way our process works is that you do have to apply for the program. Um, you have to interview for the job. So you would go through an interview process, and then um, you um, would get those items that you kind of read online. Um, and then once you were to get those items, then we would place you in one of our next available classes. Um, so all good things that you could definitely, um, you know, we do have availability in September and October courses. So I would be beyond happy to help you like through the process and looking to see if we have anything in your area. Um, but that is how the process kind of works, if that makes sense. Okay. Okay. So as, so I'm, I'm, I guess I'm a little foggy on the interview part. Like I like a literal job interview before I even get to Correct. This, the, 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 get my CDL part. Well, I'm assuming that's because Correct. I'm, I'm assuming that's because after I get my CDLs, I will be coming on board with you guys. Right. Correct. Oh, yes, correct. okay. 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 I'm, I'm clear now. I'm clear now. Uh, so what, what need, <laughs> yeah. so what need to be obtained, uh, is a permit, which I got to pay for, the physical uh, and the fingerprint hazmat endorsement, I gotta, mm -hmm. I gotta pay for all of that. So, about how much would that be for me? Uh, ballpark. Typically, typically, it's no more than about three hundred dollars. Um, so, about three hundred at max is what I would expect to spend on those items. Um, now, that's on the higher end. Um, so, that's me. You know. Because I'd rather overestimate for you rather right, than, than underestimate. Know, underestimate. I got right? you. I got you. Um, I appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's on a higher end. All for right. Sure. Now, um, I read somewhere uh, for the physical uh, or for the DOT uh, drug testing. I read somewhere that uh, that that companies are going with hair follicles now. Is that true with you guys? No, we do not do a hair follicle test. It would be a urine analysis. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Um, so exactly uh, 
you know, give me a little background of what I'll be inspecting. Let's just say uh, hypothetically that I'm I'm good to go. What would I be inspecting uh, after coming into the school? Because I've read online that it's it's a four it's a month training or something like that. Yeah, so it's four weeks of training. Um, it's going to be Monday through Friday for eight hours a day. Um, you would not be expected. We don't have training on the weekend, and you would be paid seventeen fifty an hour to attend our school. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Because I, I call some other companies, and we don't get paid for we We actually get paid while training for our CDL. Correct. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'll it, I'll just let your mind I'll I'll just let your mind be blown for a second. Right. <laughs> it, it it is. You can see the smoke and the hailstorm right above it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um. So okay. So seventeen fifty in an hour while I'm training for four for four weeks. So there's mm -hmm. there's no there's no catch. There's no hold the check back for a week or anything like that. It, 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 17 50 an hour for four weeks of training once I get approved and everything. I will say the, the check does the check does get held back just because that's how the pay cycle falls. But, yes, there, that's the only other – that's all. You, you will get paid for your time, though. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So there's four weeks of training, getting paid. All right, Um. so – Okay, so I'm from Ohio. All right. So what I what okay. I have to what I have to let's say you let's say let's say Kansas City is available. Will I will I have okay. to will I, will I have to be the one to make it down there myself or would you guys give me transportation down there? Oh, okay. I I have a, you know, I have an address in Columbus as well. So if that makes a difference. Um, I have um, openings for training in Copley, Ohio, and then I do also have openings in Columbus as well. Um, so really, either would be fine. Um, and then um, the closest academy, the closest academy to you would actually be Richfield. Um, so here's what would happen. More than likely, we would send you to Richfield, um, which means we would not probably accommodate the travel just because Richfield is right in Cleveland. Right. Um, it's so right it, across the street from the pilot. you're within a certain distance of it. I, I know where it's yeah. at. It's, it's across so, the street from the pilot. Um, yeah. So we would not help with that. However, what would happen is let's say let's say the class comes up in Cleveland and it is completely filled, okay, and you, you can't get in, but you've gotten everything together. And we have openings in Indianapolis or I have an opening in South Bend or Kansas City, for instance, like you were saying. Um, if that were to happen, then yes, we would provide the travel arrangement. So, like, if we were forcing you to go somewhere that wasn't close to you, then we would provide the travel. Awesome. Now, now let me rewind it back a little bit. Now, you did say we will get paid for our time at the at at the academy. Do we get benefits with that, or no? So, great question. Um, you would not get benefits during your time in the academy. Um, however, when you graduate, that you have a job lined up with us. And so when you have the job lined up, um, you would go through a probationary period. Um, and then once you were to become a driver for us, your benefits would then kick in about, it's usually about 90 days after you become a driver. Um, and we do have 100% paid benefits. So meaning you pay nothing out of pocket for our insurance. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, so, all right, so I pass. Well, well, before I pass, let's say after my four weeks, I go take the test. For some odd reason, mm -hmm. I flunk. I go take the test again because I'm I'm assuming we get a couple of times, right? The to, to take the test to get our CDL. So you get two opportunities to test. You get two opportunities to test. 
Um, if you do fail on the second attempt, you would be disqualified from the program, but you do have two opportunities. Oh, okay. Okay. So if I fail, if I fail again, then I, I won't have a chance to come back and try to try to try to get some more practice in or anything like that. That'll be a done deal. Let me ask you this. Um, for the CDL, because I, I know that there's some type of uh, agreement between me and the company per se, because I'm assuming they're paying for the CDLs. If I do flunk, would I be obligated for any payment or anything, or would I have to give that money back that I got for the whole four weeks? No, you wouldn't owe us anything. Okay. 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 Now, okay. Now, now that's on that part. Now let's say I'm on, I'm on board. I'm driving and let's just say, oh, this ain't working for me. And I decide to, you know, you know, go somewhere else or let's just say something, you know, much more tangent that I get terminated. Then would I still be responsible for paying back whatever that was paid into my CDL? Oh, okay. Nope. Okay. 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 All right. Um. Okay. Well, I I, I tell you what. I I I like this because this this right here is about the the best information that I got so far because I called other trucking you know trucking sponsored academies and this is about the best information I got so far. Um. Okay. So all I got to do is. First thing first, I, what I got to do is is go and get all of the all of the stuff that I need, the physical, the permit, and the and the and the TSA background. That that's what I got to do first, right? Yes. So before you do anything, um, I actually would submit an application. Um, so you'll want to go through the interview process first. Well, I I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, I do have, you know, like I said, I found all this out through my Facebook group. So is it okay that I take the information that you gave me and I share it with them? Yeah, that's fine. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. And I You're really welcome. do appreciate it. Thank you. Four weeks of paid training at seventeen fifty, guys. If you're looking for a company to train to get your CDL, I, you know, I, I honestly really didn't know that YRC had an academy, and at seventeen fifty an hour for eight hours a day for four weeks, you get paid. And then afterwards, even if you don't uh, qualify or you flunk or whatever, you don't owe nothing, nothing at all. All they require you is to get your permit, is to get your physical, and the, the uh, hazmat endorsement process. That's it. That's it. That's all. That's all you need. But first, you got to, you know, go put in an application. Tell them Lockout Men sent you. And then after that, hopefully you get qualified after the interview. So this is a good company, a good opportunity, a great opportunity with a good company, YRC Freight. Check them out. I'll lead the I'll lead the information. If you're in Ohio area, like she said, there's one over there off of Richmond, which is across the street from the pilot, Copley, and Columbus. If you guys live in those areas, find out if they have if they have an academy available for you. Man, why RC Freight? Man, what you guys think? Let me know. If you guys Went through Rye RC Freight and and successfully completed, and you're driving for YRC. Let us know in the comments below, man. Let us know how the company is treating you. How did how was your experience through the schooling? 
All right? Let us know about all of that, okay? Let us know in the comments below. That's going to do it for this episode of MTC. Until next time, everybody. Who's next? Who's next?